Hello friends, this video on visualizing shapes part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now talk about how do we map the space around us. Now, what do I mean by mapping the space around us? Let's take this example. So if I ask you how far is your school from your home? Okay. Now, let's say that uh, you say that, okay, the distance between my home and my school is six kilometers. Now, is it possible to draw this on a sheet of paper? Like as you see on the screen, on the screen, I have drawn a home. This is your home and this is your school. And I have drawn both of them on the screen and I have said that the distance between the home and the school is six kilometers. But do you think that this distance is actually six kilometers? No, six kilometer is a lot bigger. So if I start taking the actual measurement, do you think that I will be able to draw this on one sheet of paper? No, in fact, this would become impossible to draw this on a sheet of paper. So therefore, without taking the actual measurement, we assumed that this distance, which is being represented on the screen, is 6 kilometers. But at the same time, we just can't as you keep assuming anything. We need to assume in a proportionate manner. So why are we assuming? So that we can represent the space around us on a sheet of paper. So for that, we need to make assumptions, but the assumptions need to be proportionate. So what do we mean by proportionate? For example, let's say that if the market is two kilometers from your house and it is on the way to your school, that means it lies somewhere between your home and your school, such that the distance of the market from your home is two kilometers. So where, where do you think the market should be placed? Do you think the market should be placed here? At this point no that's because you know when I am saying that the distance between home and school that is this total distance is six kilometers and I am saying that the market is two kilometers from home so the market cannot be this far from home so with this data six kilometers and two kilometers we understand that the market is located nearer to the home than to the school so definitely this is not the right location so maybe an approximate location of the market could be this one right so this could be two kilometers so two kilometers is basically nothing but if you divide this entire six kilometers into three equal parts like one two and three. So that means the first part or the first stretch represents two kilometer. So the market can be comfortably located here. So this is what I mean by proportionate. So even though we are assuming neither this distance is six kilometers nor this distance is two kilometers, but we are assuming. But we need to assume also in a proportionate manner. And this is the basic concept behind the making of maps. Now, have you ever seen the maps, like maybe the map of India or the world map or map of any other country for that matter? So whenever you look at the map, you see that it is just a small map on a sheet of paper, which shows the location of all the different states, the location of different cities in that country. But do you think, for example, in this map, when you look at, uh, say, Madhya Pradesh, so this part is Madhya Pradesh, but do you think that Madhya Pradesh is this small? Definitely not. It, it's quite huge. But just to represent it on a sheet of paper, we've assumed certain units and that's why we are, and when you compare the size of Madhya Pradesh with the size of maybe Chhattisgarh, so their sizes are proportionate to the actual measurements, right? So this is how the map shows location of an object with respect to other objects. That's very important that it, sh it should show the location with respect to other objects, right? So this is how we do mapping. So what is a map? A map, a map is that one thing which depicts the location of a particular object or place with respect to other objects or places. Now, this portion is very, very important. You just can't miss this. So, a map must be created in such a way that it should be with respect to all other objects. So, that is what we mean by proportionate thing. So, here again in the same example, if you see, this is your home, this is your school and this is the market. Right? So here, how have I represented this with the help of pictures? So I have drawn the picture of a house, a picture of a school, a picture of a market. Now, what if I want to represent this uh, more simple? 
in a more simple way. So how would I represent this? So in the map format, I can also represent it like this. So I just represent home as a point, market is a point and school is a point. So these are nothing but symbols. So here I have just used points. But basically, when you look at the road maps, have you ever uh, looked at the road maps? For example, you, you want to know the route of a particular place. So if you look at the maps, you would see that they do not draw the entire buildings. They just make use of symbols to represent places. Like instead of drawing a home, you just put a, a, some symbol for home. Similarly, you put some speci specific symbols for schools, for parks, for libraries and so on so that the drawing of map becomes a lot easier and as far as the location is concerned we already saw the trick in the previous slide that you assume some distances and then proportionate to that distance you draw the location of all other places so basically this is how we draw a map thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you